full screen for everybody? Oh yeah. Amazing. And I just want to apologize in advance. I live on a pretty loud street. So if it's super noisy, I am so sorry. All right, thank you guys so much for being here. My name is Amelia Schooley. I'm a UX designer and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my app, Physio. Oh, before we dive in, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an agenda. We're gonna go with the mission statement, the research process, ideation, paper prototype, and my balsamic prototype, and then touch on next steps and a little Q&A session. Before I dive into my mission statement, I wanted to give you guys a little spiel about why this is so important to me. Many of you have heard me discuss a very similar story to this, but just a couple of years ago, I was living in Indonesia. And during that time, I really pushed my mind and body to the limit. And just three weeks before coming back to California, I woke up with a searing pain along the right side of my spine. No amount of Balinese massage or amount of Advil could ease the pain. And similar to <laughs> Angie and Motohara's um, projects, I was in a foreign country with no idea how to get medical attention and didn't have the language ability to express that. Luckily, when I came back to the United States, I was able to get physical therapy through my insurance. They showed me what exercises I needed to do, and it actually worked. While I struggled to be consistent in my day-to-day -day exercises, I found that I wasn't alone in my struggle. Many people who are in physical therapy, which I may refer to as PT throughout this presentation, have trouble holding themselves accountable, and many people don't have access to PT at all. I'm here to give people a way to access PT, hold them accountable, and show them how to have fun while healing their bodies. All right, here's our mission statement. And oh, having trouble clicking, there we go. As for the research process, I conducted 10 interviews, synthesized interview materials into an affinity map, and identified common pain points associated with physical therapy. For the interviews, here are some example questions I used, and out of the 10 people, eight had done PT, one was a former physical therapist assistant, and one had never done PT but always wanted to start. Here are my main takeaways and a couple main quotes from my interviews. 100% of people who had formerly been in physical therapy expressed that they had issues with accessibility. Whether that was getting to the office, finding someone who worked with their insurance, they all seemed to have a communal struggle there. Around 63% of those who were in physical therapy had trouble staying consistent in their exercises at home. I am also one of these people. And the majority of people found PT to be unpleasant in general. We can see there's a couple of quotes like, I was excited when I got to stop going to PT. PT felt like an obligation, not fun. So where did this lead us? This led me to the problem. People who require physical therapy need a fun and accessible way to hold them accountable so that they can effectively heal their injuries from home. Accessibility, accountability, and enjoyment were our three biggest pain points. Here I have the ideation process. I have a little login user flow where you are logging in and selecting um, what parts of your body hurt. And Physio will give you a detailed plan specific to what's hurting on your body. Here you can see my rough sketch and my chicken scratch for handwriting. Here we have the paper prototype. It looks pretty similar to my original sketch, but just a little bit cleaner. Um, and there's a couple things I did correct here thanks to some awesome feedback moving into the balsamic prototype. And let's show you guys the prototype. All right, here's Physio. Um, just made a little splash screen, figured that it would just load into the app. Your journey to recovery starts here. We're just gonna log right in since we already have an account. Welcome back, inspirational quote, yada yada. Type in your stuff, log right in. Where can we help? This is Physio's main homepage where you will be selecting what parts of your body hurt. Since I'm using this, I have a back problem. We can go ahead and select the areas of main concern and generate today's PT plan, which will be specific to the areas that you selected on the page before. Something nice about Physio is you can like or save your messages, um, or not messages, your exercises, and it will go into this saved liked category. 
before we dive into the mobile versus VR aspect of this, because leveraging VR was a big part of my project, I didn't want to focus on it too much because my main idea was accessibility and not a ton of people have access to VR. So I wanted to make sure to make that a component, but not the entire um, basis of physio. Here we have a little progress area to help people have fun and hold them accountable. Every time you do a workout, your little green dot will move up on the mountain and it will be specific to goals that you set in your notification center. You can click in through here and be like, oh, like my goal is three days a week. I wanna get exercises done. Select what time of day you'd like to be reminded, how many times a day you wanna be reminded, and of course, make sure that your phone is all set up to send you notifications. Now I'll take us back to here and show you guys what it looks like to go through the VR experience. Here we have our headset on and we're doing the exercise alongside someone who is also doing the exercise. So it's kind of like if you were just like sitting next to your buddy as they're doing them um, as well, you can listen to the sound of their voice and get that visual guidance or turn your head and like look over at them and see if you're doing it right. Since it's VR, I wanted a lot of pop-ups and stuff. So I did a little great job. Things that would be like flashing up on the screen to show you're doing a nice job. And after the exercise is complete, give you some positive feedback. You did it. Feel free to check out your climbing progress on the mountain tab below. You can click back in and see that your dot has moved up once more. And just briefly, I'll show you guys the mobile version as well, because again, I wanted to make sure it was accessible. And I figured a lot of people, um, especially older groups who didn't know VR, would like a mobile version or something they could do on their iPad. And again, this looks very similar um, to the VR version, just to be consistent. You did it. Great job. And yes, that is my balsamic prototype. Just to finish up the presentation. My next steps, I really want to continue user testing. And one thing that I found people are really interested in is form correction. And I had trouble working around this um, with what I was doing. So I think it would be a cool idea to like have camera access on the mobile version so it can film you and then correct your form retroactively and eventually work up to being able to do it in live time. I also think the idea of making like playlists or categories of liked exercises or maybe folders um, would be a great idea. So once you have tons of exercises liked or saved or downloaded, you could have them in a specific group so they're not all jumbled up because I wanted to make sure this, this app was accessible not only to people who have specific injuries like myself, but people who are just trying to work on like bettering themselves in any part um, of the body. And lastly, I think it'd be really cool to work with physical therapists to improve the quality of the app and create partnerships. Um, I realized that my app would put physical therapists out of business. So if we put our brains together, um, we could work on something really cool. And that would also help account for who's doing the exercises in the VR and things like that might create a more personal touch if they're real physical therapists. Thank you guys so much for your time. If anyone has any questions, I am excited to hear them. Absolutely, big round of applause for Amelia. Woo! Um, wonderful job. Loved your passion in, uh, in, in the presentation, a very clean uh, and quick run through there. It's clear that you had practiced.